Hello, um, welcome back. So, a few months ago, I did a video covering the original cover arts and the redesigned cover arts for the Warrior Cats books. I mainly covered the North American releases, and while these covers were used for some international covers, I mainly stuck to the North American version. My goal was not to rate the art per se, but rather kind of figure out was it good it, from an artistic standpoint, as well as did it represent the story it was about to tell. Basically, was the cover art representative of the story it was covering. And one thing with the video oh, that was in the comments I did address is that the international cover arts from different countries, from Europe to Asia to Middle East, they all are different. They just don't use the art, or if they do use art, they tweak it just a little bit. So originally, I was going to do it on a country-by-country -country basis for the entire Warrior series. Then I thought, no, I'm going to do it by Warrior Cats arc. First, by doing the Prophecies Begins arc only for the international releases. And let me tell you, I seriously underestimated how much alternate cover arts there were when I started this project. Just a few disclaimers before we start. One, I am not covering every single alternate cover art, merely the ones that either have alternate art exclusive for that country, or simply ones that I think are designed interesting of pre-existing art. Also, I did attempt to translate some of the Warrior Cats text on the cover art to just kind of see how the translations are a bit different. I did not translate all of them, either because the translation process on my end was much more difficult than I anticipated, or I just straight up do not speak that language and there's no easy way to translate it. So sorry, some will be translated, some won't be. My apologies. Well, that said, let's start off with the first region. First, the UK covers. So this first cover, which I showed earlier, is just the North American cover with a few alterations. For instance, this, like many other countries in Europe particularly, don't call the series Warriors, they call it Warrior Cats. It's a slightly different font actually, which is similar enough to the original one, but a little bit different. You know this particularly in the R's. Also, the center image is much more zoomed in, and instead of less rectangular, it's more square. I like the border, it's wider, I really like that. I also like they have each of the clan logos on there. I think that's a very nice touch. And I just like overall the way it's formatted. It's different, but I really enjoy it. Next we have this alternate cover. I I just don't know what to say, really. It's very 2000s. That how much I will say. And the trees are ill-used? I mean... Warrior Cats kind of takes place roughly in the UK. So, like, why those trees? And why that font, too? It's just, it's very poorly put together. But it's funny, so I like that. Next is Fire and Ice's cover, and as I said earlier, it's very funny. They did change the subtitle, which, you know, it is representative of the book, so I like that with the whole dichotomy. But they definitely leaned more into the ice aspect than the fire instead of a like balance of the two but yeah it's just very stock photos and the force of secrets is no different same style same formatting very stock imagery it's someone just like use that you know stock photos that you can get with like some adobe subscription or whatever and just kind of put it together which it works but it's dated now, as far as I can tell, neither book four or five have the alternate covers, but book six does. And it's not... Okay, it is kind of the same style, but it isn't. As you can see, it's similar, but they're half using art from the actual cover on the bottom half, but the top half is different art. I can't tell if it's just art that's photoshopped or a stock art that's photoshopped. But the Warrior Cats thing is also completely different. For instance, it says Warrior Cats, and there are these weird scratch marks. It's very, very Photoshop, very poorly done. So overall, these UK covers, the alternate covers, they're fine, they do the job, but it's very early 2000s, which is very funny, but at the same time, eh, not the greatest Warrior Cats art. Now let's move on to the Japan covers. So first, I really like this art style. This will be 
on all the Warrior Cats arts, but I really like this whole design. So obviously you have warriors in big letters. On the side of each of the logo at the top, you have these cats that also connect to the outline of the book, which I really like. Like, you know, Firepaw, or Rusty, I guess in a sense, he's in the middle. He's interesting because he's not really rusted color. He's more of a tabby. His eye color is the right, too, and, you know, Blue Star obviously looks fine. But, I don't know, very interesting choice. But I do like on the top, if you look at the top right corner, there's these six paw marks, and then only one is highlighted. So we, throughout the rest of the books, but each paw mark denotes what book it is, which I think is very interesting. It's a very unique design choice. And the Fire and Ice is no difference, but it's interesting because it shows... Graystripe and Silverstream. Graystripe I like because he's a fluffy boy, and I don't know when this was published. I didn't check, but I don't know if his like fluffy kind of persona was really out there yet, but I really like this. The sun is an interesting choice though. Maybe it's supposed to represent the fire in this setting, but I don't know. It's really cool. Forza Secrets I also really like. Now this time, they did make Firestar a bit more red, Although that could just be the sunset, I don't know. I think it's just they made it more red. And also, you have Graystripe with his two kits, which, you know, a bit spoilery, but overall, I think it looks fine. This next one, I'm a bit torn on because I'm kind of confused by the situation. So this is Rising Storm. Obviously, on the right, you have Fire Heart, I guess, is his point. But the left one, I'm kind of unsure of. Either that's Yellow Fang because she's a big player in this book and spoiler dies or that's Ravenpaw who helps him at some point in the book I don't know I'm kind of unsure but overall I like the setting I like the sunset and, and that's a brick wall I thought it was a house earlier but yeah that's a brick wall I don't know if they ever say there's brick walls in the books but overall I think it looks really nice then we have a dangerous path and if this is a scene I think it is it's a huge spoiler so again Fireheart looks much more like a tabby than like a fire red Tom. And I'm assuming on his left that's Blue Star, who I think is dead. Which, yeah, she dies in this book, but that's kind of a spoiler. I don't know. It's just weird. It's kind of a weird choice. I think it still looks nice, though. And then you have The Darkest Hour. I'm very confused by this. First off, I can't tell if that's Fireheart on the left, because he's a darker tabby. It could be Tiger Claw, but I doubt it. I mean, the left, I think, is very much Gray Stripe. So if the left one was Fireheart, it's a very odd choice. But overall, I think it's neat. And now let's move on to the France covers. So this first one is just the generic one. It's interesting because it removes the borders, which I think is very an interesting choice. It just kind of blends a bit more into the background. But I'm going to focus on the translations real quick. So first, you see that the translation that I got, and I just want to stress, this is probably an incorrect translation, but this is the one I got. The Clan Wars. It's possibly the Clan Wars or the Clan's War. I don't know, but it's interesting because I'm actually the only one that deviates from the normal warrior cats or warriors. It's the only country I think it does. I could be wrong. We'll check later. But also, you have, instead of Into the Wild, it's Return to the Wilderness. This is actually something that a lot of these translations use. Instead of Wild, it's Wilderness. Which, either because the framing of the word in their language just wouldn't work for Wild and just sound off, or this makes more sense. I don't know, but I think it's really interesting. Also, I like how above the center image, you can see it says Cycle 1, and then like their word for book. I don't know how I can pronounce it. But I don't know when this release, but that's interesting. Instead of calling them arcs, like we do, they're calling it cycles. That's just very, very elegant, very dramatic. I like it. Now, these next several cover arts are the ebook designs, which I don't know why you would have a full on cover art exclusive to the ebook edition. And trust me, this is, <laughs> this will become apparent later, but they do this a lot for other countries. Now, the art for this is the same as the all the other ebooks for Arc 1. They just changed the color. So, not much to say about this first one. It just, it's nice. It's cool. It's neat. 
bit low effort. That's okay. It's an ebook. The next one is interesting, not because of the cover art, but because of the translation. Now, trust me, I ran through this translation many times, and unless I'm really wrong with this, the translation is fire and blood instead of fire and ice, which... And if I got my translation wrong, I really screwed up, but if this is the actual translation into French, that's metal as hell. It's, it's so raw. I mean, it's true, but jeez. And then Forest of Secrets is the mysteries of the forest. Very elegant. The blue represents that. It almost makes the th the sun look like a moon in this context, which is possibly what they were going for. But overall, I like it. Very, very elegant title. Next, we have Before the Storm. Instead of Rising Storm, it's Before the Storm. Don't know why they changed that. It still works. It's cool. It's neat. I like the color. It's fine. On the Warpath. That's very raw. I mean, going from a dangerous path to on the warpath. I mean, it's not incorrect. It more so just kind of spoils the next book. But, I don't know. It's fine. A Dark Prophecy. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. Translation is not as great as it could have been, but it's fine. Overall, I think these ebook covers are fine for the, what they are. Just, I have to wonder, why did you make exclusive cover art for the ebooks? Just, why? It's just so much effort. Just reuse your old art. I don't know. And now let's move on to the bane of my existence, the Germany and Austria covers. Let me tell you, there are so many alternate covers to this, it is insane. So first off, let's focus on the worst first one. So the first one is pretty cool. It's a bit generic, but I think it rather, it frames it well. Clearly, this Firestar, or Rusty, I guess, is, he's very red. The eyes are very green. I can't tell if they, like, turned the brightness of the red up too high, because, I don't know, it looks more like a flame, or like a blood color than a red color. But I really like the underneath section of it, where like it's very starkly green. And it's very lush, which is not something really, we really get a lot in this Worry Cats arc. I mean, see, there's like plants on cover art, but nothing that's like descriptively lush. And also, once again, the translation is Into the Wilderness. But interestingly, they don't translate the title. Some other books do this, some don't. It's kind of weird. But I do like the motif of putting a cat eye in the O. Other cover arts do this, and I think it's something that should be incorporated into the official design for the North American logo, because it's just really cool. Now, here you can see something very interesting. This cover art, while the words did change for countries, is reused in all these countries, which is a lot. The reason I'm putting it here is that the Germany and Austria one obviously came first as far as I can tell. They just reused the art specifically while translating it to the other countries, but that's a lot of countries to use this art on. My word. Next we have Fire and Ice, which just translates to Fire and Ice. I'm pretty sure this is Fire Star again because I don't know the color that's red, but it's interesting because his eyes are blue and he's more red. I mean, if they wanted to get the dichotomy between the fire and the ice, with the top being fire and the bottom being ice, it works. The scene obviously is interesting too at the bottom one because you have the division of the rivers because obviously Silverstream is in this book and you have fire pa uh, or fire heart, I guess. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Um, you have fire heart on the right and then I'm presuming gray stripe on the left and they're kind of in a confrontation, which is a very interesting framing. I really like it. And once again, here are all the countries that this book appears in. Next is this one, which I think is interesting. I'm pretty sure this is Yellow Fang on this cover art, which definitely an interesting design for Yellow Fang. Bit generic, but you can definitely tell there's a division between her most of her face and then her muzzle, which I really like. The bottom scene as well, I think is pretty cool because you have Fire Heart on the left and what I'm presuming based on the tail and just kind of the color is Tiger Claw. So they're kind of confrontation at the end of the book, which, you know, pretty cool. The translation is Mystery of the Forest, which, you know, nothing too crazy, but 
A lot of these alternate cover arts seem to translate secret to mystery for book three, which is not a bad choice, but it's just a noticeable one. Again, here are all the um, countries these released in. Nothing changes. And now we have this one, Rising Storm. First off, this cat. I don't know who it is. I like there's a scar on the nose. I think it's supposed to denote who it is. But the orange, I guess, amber eye color is kind of throwing me off as to who this is. It, I think it might be Cinderpelt, but correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure she had the yellow eyes. I don't know, I could be wrong. But if it is Cinderpelt, definitely interesting to cat to choose for this book. And obviously on the bottom we have these cats. I don't know the context, the pelt color is kind of hard to tell what this could be referring to. But overall, it was cool. And the um, translation, Before the Storm, it's fine. Nothing crazy. Just alright. Again, here are all the cover arts. I mean, different countries. Nothing's changed there. Next we have this one. Which, oh boy, <laughs> I have some things to say. So first off, look at the cat. Who do you think this cat is? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Snow Kit. Or, it's either Snow Kit or Cloud Tail. If it's Cloudtail, odd choice. If it's Snow Kit, oh boy. Trust me, Snow Kit will come up later. We'll get to him. But, very interesting choice for the cat to be on this cover art. Also, look at the translation. Dangerous tracks. Dangerous path, dangerous tracks. Yeah, it works. If they are referencing, like, cat tracks. Yeah, I can see that. Also, the scene below the main image i don't know specifically what this is to referring to it could be the battle against river clan but based on what i remember i don't think any scene like this specifically happened unless it's referring to like fireheart jumping off to save blue star which if it is i feel like they could have framed it better but i think it's all right again here are all the other countries and finally the Darkest Hour, a.k.a. Hour of Darkness. It's works. Now this one I like because it's, again, clearly Firestar now, but he's accurate. He looks like Firestar is supposed to do what he's supposed to be. Like, it looks really good. Also, the bottom image I think is really interesting because obviously you have Firestar in the center. I'm pretty sure that's Spotted Leaf based on the coloring on the left and the right cat. I can't tell. It might be Cinderpelt or Yellow Fang. It's difficult to kind of tell. But I like the framing. I like the, the colors. I like the overall framing. It's really neat. And again, here are all the countries that it's alternate to. Now let's talk about some alternate cover art. First, we have this one. Now, this, now all these other alternate cover arts follow a very similar style, merely changing the background and also the pose of the cat. However, I really like this idea. It makes it seem sort of some sort of grand adventure, some sort of grand quest, and I really like that. It reminds me the logo of the Wheel of Time logo from that new show. It's really cool. It's very like grand. And you know, I have a cat sitting there. Book two, you have a cat walking, so fine. Book three, you have a cat kind of in a defensive position. Looks very angry. The eyes always look angry, but this one looks particularly aggressive. Book four, a bit of a calmer cat, almost looking away. Nice pose. It's almost as if it's sitting on the inner rung of the circle, whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, book five, cats pawing at the circle. I don't know. And then book six, just a casually walking cat. And as I said before, I like how almost all the images have the cat, like, walking or interacting with the circle, like it's inside of it. Another thing I want to point out is the squiggle for the eye on the O. Like, on the other cover art, it was an eye. This one, it's more of a squiggle, and it's an interesting artistic choice, but, I don't know, bring back the eye. Now we get into the reprint section. So, look at this. This is a reprint, only for Germany. Didn't appear in Austria, apparently, but only in Germany. And it looks fine. It looks unfinished. It looks more like a sketch than like a finished art piece. Again, it's very clearly a rusty or firepaw in this sense. It looks fine. Whatever. 
Book two, I don't know who this is referring to. I think this might be Silverstream or Graystripe. If it's Graystripe, he's too, he's too, um, not fluffy enough. He's too flat, I guess. If it's Silverstream, it looks fine, but, you know, I think there'd be more striping. Uh, then we have this next one, which was actually unreleased. I don't know why it was unreleased, because the actual art we get is just kind of atrocious. Like, look at this. It's arguably worse. I think they wanted to have Tiger Claw in this context, and I get it, but I don't know. It just looks worse. I think it's because the outer stripes are a lighter brown than the full body, where I think it should have been swapped. Almost like my lovely little character. He's so cute. Next we have book four. It looks fine. Just kind of unfinished. Almost looks like they put that filter on. On some phones, you have this filter built in the camera where it makes it like 2D, like a sketch. It kind of looks like that. Like they took an actual image of a cat and just made it sketch-like. I... I don't know who this is supposed to be. This can't... I don't think this is Tiger Claw because we already got him. And I don't think it's Tiger Star. It could be... Bramble Paw or Bramble Kit, but uh, I don't know. Oh, Scourge. Look at that boy. Look at his collar. Look at all that teeth. That's way more teeth than I think it's described in the books, which I don't know. You, I could be wrong, but like in all the art we have of Scourge, he doesn't have that many teeth, but it's really cool. His whiskers are also really like sharp. I don't know. I just kind of noticed that. The only issue I have with it is the eyes. They're just, like, really surprised-looking. Like, if this was, like, taken from the context that Firestar just resurrected himself, yeah, this would work. But in a more general context, he just looks too cute. Doesn't look angry enough. Overall, I think this line of Warrior Cats covers is fine. It works. It's an artistic choice. Could be a little bit better. Back to Germany and Austria. Here we have this redesign, which I really like. I think it's obviously taking inspiration or obviously directly referencing the North American redesign. I mean, with the framing of Fire Paw, I guess, half on the scene. They shift the camera over a little bit so you see more of his face, but overall, I really like it. I will say, though, looking at this image again, I think the image they might have based it on was a tiger. He just looks very tiger-like with the markings that he has in the scene. I don't know, could it just be me? Next we have Fire and Isis, which, oh my gosh, look at this. Now correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is Blue Star in this scene, which, two things. One, if this is Blue Star, what scene is this referencing? And two, why does she look like a child? Like, this only could be Blue Star, because no other cat would have been this young, or have these correct marking colors. And if it's like some other cat, then they got their color coding really wrong. Unless it's affected by the harsh shading, but I doubt that. I mean, it's good art, obviously, but I just think it's a rather strange choice. This cover art. Oh, I really like this one. Tiger um, Claw looks really ferocious. He looks old. He looks battle scarred. He looks angry. It's just, oh, you could feel the kind of anger radiating off of him. That scowl. Ooh. Really, really like this art. Now this one, I, I believe is supposed to be Yellow Fang. Not really that Persian, but I like the fluffy look. I believe this might just be the harsh lighting, but behind her, I think, is fire. Yeah, we'll say it's fire. If so, really cool. I really like this framing. Again, it's taking inspiration from the redesigns, but taking a different, well, take on them. And I really like it. I think it's unique and interesting. Uh, next, we have this one, which I said we get back to Snow Kit, and here he is. So yeah, that's Snow Kit. You know why it's Snow Kit? Look at the bottom right corner. That's a hawk. And that's, you can't tell me that's Cloudtail, because that cat's too young. Cloudtail's at least... A, almost a year old at this point in the timeline. So that's Snow Kid, and that's the Hawk. It's weird because in the grand scheme of things, Snow Kid, yeah, he's his death is kind of dramatic and pointless, but not, you know, it's 
important overall, but it's just not really that important to the plot. So having it being the cover art is a very deliberate choice. I don't know. It's just kind of funny, if anything, and morbid, but mostly funny. And now we have this one. I love it. Obviously, again, it's Firestar. He, but he looks much older, much more rugged, like he's been through hell. Which, at this point, he has been. He just looks like he's more grand, more leader-like, which I really appreciate. Overall, pretty good. I like this run of these books and cover arts. Now let's move on to the Ukraine book covers. Did you know that Warriorcast was in Ukraine? Well, you do now. So let's look at this first one. Let me tell you first off, this was hell to translate. Seriously, I spent so many hours trying to translate this because I don't understand the Ukrainian alphabet. I apologize. This is the best I can come up with. But looking at the cover art, you know, I think it's interesting. First thing, I noticed that they translated Aaron Hunter's name to... I'm not going to even pronounce that. But if you look at the top um, of the cover, it's translated, which is interesting. This will not be the first um, war a book to translate Aaron Hunter's name. But it's interesting that this is one of them. Overall, I like the design. You have the cat on the side, imitating what I'm assuming is one of the cover arts, possibly the reprint. And the cat on the bottom, walking in a sort of determined fashion. Overall, not bad. Then, we have this one, The Fire and Ice, which has what I'm assuming is... Maybe it's Tiger Claw, maybe it's Fireheart, I don't know, the framing is kind of weird. But I like on the bottom, the cat is images are different. You'd think with the silhouettes they would keep it the same, but no, they change them, and it's a very dramatic fight scene. I like it. Also, the fire... It's a weird choice, especially considering this is only book two, and a fire doesn't really come into effect until, like, book four. I mean, I get it. It's fire and ice, but... I don't know. The ice doesn't really come into effect, unless you count, like, the top shading, which is more like a blue, cold night kind of thing. I don't know. Overall, I think it's fine. This one... I don't know. I don't get what cat this is supposed to be. If this is supposed to be Fireheart again, then they kind of changed the color too much. Any other cat, I don't know who this would be. Like, this looks more like Leafpool, but considering this is only Arc 1, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But, you know, the cat at the bottom, just a cat on a perch. Overall, looks fine. I like it. Oh, the fire returns! First off, the silhouette is a much more ferocious fight scene, and I love it. The cat, again, confuses me. Because is it supposed to be Fireheart or some other cat? I don't know. I think it is, but it's just weird that they keep drawing him weirdly. But the fire rages. Oh, look at that. Look at the colors. Look how ferocious it is. It covers almost the entire cover. I love it. Look at his face. He's, like, so shocked. Like, it's almost like he was sleeping, and then he got poked. And then he just kind of went like, What? What'd you do? I don't know. It's a really funny cat pose that they chose. Also, look at the title in the coat, I guess the word for cat, I guess, at the top. There's a star in the middle of the O, which is a very nice touch. I like it. Cat silhouette is just looking up. If you follow its eye, like its eyesight, it goes straight to the star, which, if it's intentional, that's a really good detail. If it's unintentional, it's still pretty cool. And finally, book six. Ooh. First off, the cat, it looks fine. It's just fine. But the silhouette, they made it a lion and a tiger for Lion Clan and Tiger Clan. That's a very nice touch. And, like, they're both fighting. They're both baring their teeth. They're both ferocious. And I love it. I think it's so... It's kind of unnecessary. But overall, I think it's really neat. Overall, I think the Ukraine covers are fine. There's some good elements. But overall, nothing overly exciting about them. Next, let's talk about South Korea's cover. So first off, let's look at the generic cover they released. First off, I think it's fine. They removed the center image to have this more centralized title for the translations, but they do have the original title covered by the translated title, with the subtitle just being translated, no English version. Overall, 
I think it's nice. I like the border around the side. It gives it a very, like, manga feel. But I think it's nice. Speaking of manga feel, here is the alternate cover art, which I really like. First off, it's very stark. Like, blank color, cat with highlighted color, and then you have these silhouettes of cats following the background. I think the framing is very nice. It gives it a very kind of hardcore, like, gritty kind of feeling to it. Especially with, if you go to the top, the top section, the one, which is book one, is like this splat. Is it a blood splat, an ink splotch? Don't know, but it's cool. Also, if you go to the top, if you look at the circle of what I presume is the translated Warrior Cats text, you can still see there's the cat eye and that little dot. Um, overall, I think it's neat. The next cover is also really cool. Again, this took like the fire aspect really seriously and went full on blood red. It's hard, it's metal, I like it. The cat is less angry, but I still think it's looking off to the distance for some reason. Overall, really cool. Next we have this one, which is Forest of Secrets. Blue cat staring directly at you. It's simple, it's effective. This one is green. Not like a bright green, more like a subtle green. Almost like a really young moss kind of green. Not terrible, it's just an interesting shade of green they chose. Then we have this one, this purple, kind of violet almost. Ooh, maybe even indigo? I don't know, colors. Um, I like it. The cat they use looks much younger and like innocent, even a little smile on its muzzle. Looks nice. Also, you can see the stripes a bit more on the front. Maybe there's like an, a paint choice that they just like photocopied it. Don't know, I think it's interesting. Then we have this one, much older cat. Very interesting turquoise, almost dark cyan kind of color they chose. Overall, I think it's neat. I do think it's interesting though that they didn't shade the cats. They shaded it white, which is interesting. Overall, these covers, these alternate covers, they're very simple, but I think they're very effective. They get their message across quite well. Now let's move on to the infamous Ruption covers. Uh, just quick note, I'm only covering the cover art, not the internal art. And trust me, they're quite different. First, let's look at the Into the Wild cover art, which is an interesting choice. First off, I like that they make Rusty younger here. Here, I mean, Rusty, when he first joins the clans, he's only about six or seven moons old. He's young. He's baby. But he cute baby. And I like how they get the cross. The above image has Tiger Claw, which this might have been the wrong book to focus on Tiger Claw, but I think it looks nice overall. But also, just a side tangent, let's look at the overall framing of this. So the outer kind of framing of this is like an old fairy tale almost, with the book binding printing on the right left hand side. And the banner gives it a really kind of old storybook feel. Overall, I like it. Fire and Ices has a much older Fireheart on the bottom section, which looks nice. The two cats above, the left one being Tallstar and the right one being what I'm assuming is one whisker given the coloration, they look nice. <laughs> I think it's interesting they made Tallstar very, very fluffy for this, which, I mean, it's not a bad look for him, but an interesting one. The next one is a bit of a twist because now Fireheart is on the top, while Tigerclaw, who's looking very ferocious is on the bottom. He's framed very interestingly. Overall, I like it. Very nice. Next, we have this one, which, first off, the fire. I like that the fire transcends through the banner. Because in the previous ones, they were kind of framed as two separate images, but the framing through one almost is like the banners on top of it, which is a very interesting choice. Also, this is a bit more fluffier and angrier Fireheart, which I like. A nice choice. Then we have this one. This is our first dogs on the cover art. Trust me, this will come up a lot. First off, a very interesting choice of breed for the dogs. dogs. It's definitely very mutt-like. Like, this is the most general breed of dog you could have chosen for this um, cover. Obviously, it's just the most generic dog they could find, because, you know, 
It's probably the most generic find you can dog you could find in Russia. The top cat, mm, I don't know. Fireheart looks a bit too angry given the context. I feel like he would be a bit more scared, but overall, I like the framing. It's nice. Um, here's the thing. This is a reprint of it. Because here's the thing, as far as I could tell, they haven't really done any reprints for the Russian covers, except for this one, which the Warriors Wiki described as a special edition, which is strange. I mean, it uses the new art, and the book covering is different. I mean, it's cooler, but no. And then they have this one as well, which is taking about a style that's more like the older one, which... It also looks really fine. It's just strange how this is the only one, at least that we know of. And then you have book six, which I love. Obviously, the top image is Fireshar flanked by the other clan leaders and allies, I assume. I can't really tell who they are. And then the bottom one is Scourge. Ooh, look at that scary boy. His color is interesting because it's not purple like it is described. It's more of like a leather color. And also, his teeth seem to be tied on there with string as opposed to just being stuck on there implying that this cat was given this collar which is definitely an interpretation of it not a bad one per se but definitely an interpretation so overall the russian covers are quite infamous are they good i think so definitely give it a bit more of a fairy tale like grimm's fairy tale kind of vibe like a really old story that's being retold overall I really like them. Not bad. Next, let's get into the Taiwan covers. Um, just a quick note, the with the Taiwan covers and the Chinese covers, they were released in two languages, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. For the sake of the video, I won't really be pointing out which is which, rather just looking at the cover art as a whole. First off, let's look at the Into the Wild original cover art, which I absolutely love. First off, let's look at the main image, which is Firepaw. Oh, I absolutely love it. His collar design is so intricate. It's so well designed. It's oh, wrong color, but it looks really nice. Also, I like how his eyes, despite being a little more blue than green, is looking up at the scene that we see above. On the left, we see Firepaw bowing respectfully with his collar to the characters on the right, which the first one is Lionheart, which has a much more of a mane, which I know, I like it. it, but it makes his head look really comically small, which, you know, is a choice. And then you have Blue Star looking really tall and really regal. Overall, I love the framing of the scene and the colors and the aesthetic is really nice. Also, if you look at the on the top where the translated um, title is, you see these red scratches, which <laughs> I think are really cool. It's so brutal and grim, and I love it. Overall, really nice. The same can be said for Fire and Ice. On the right, you have Fireheart leaping into battle, I think is White Claw from River Clan next to the Gorge, which you don't really get the same kind of ferocity of the Gorge from the other covers, like the sheerness of it and the thought that this will probably kill someone if you fall in. Here just kind of looks like a calm river. A wide river, but a calm river. But overall, really nice. Colors, framing, lovely. Book three is interesting because it looks like it was more directly based on the English cover than ever. First off, the bottom cats. Very clearly inspired by the crossing of the cats from the original Forest Secret art. It's even inspired so much as the art cell. Same goes for the cat in the stars. It almost looks like the artist for this cover just redrew the cover art from this one, changing a few things. Like, they redrew it so much that the um, Wayne McLaughlin art style bleeds through much more presently. But, you know, overall, it's not bad. But I will say that for this book, Forest of Secrets, there really isn't that many, you know, forest in it. Just a strange choice. Now this one. Oh, I really like this one. First off, it's the aftermath. Unlike other books, which is, you know, within the fire, like you're in the fire watching it happen, 
This one is the aftermath. You can see the fire happening from afar with all the cats, the important cats, sitting and watching it. Firestar is a little bit chunky from this behind shot. You know, not a terrible thing, but overall, I really like it. Color, amazing. Now this one's overall pretty good, kind of. So first off, I like the dogs. The dogs are an interesting choice, and the cats, like, looking very angry, very determined. Brilliant. But then we have the overall color that surrounds the central images. It's very pastel, almost sunset-like, which isn't bad, but first off, it obscures the translated title as well as the book number. If you noticed, the book number in Roman numerals is seen. However, the title is black, as well as the subtitles, which is obscured by the dogs and, like, the shading around them. Now, it's possible that with the physical covers, it's much easier to differentiate, but looking on a 2D screen, it's very hard. So, a little bit disappointing, but overall, I think it's nice. And then we have uh, the final one. Overall, I think it's a bit odd. First off, the center image. Again, very much a one-for-one -one redraw of Wayne McLaughlin's cover art of the center image with him licking the pool. But the outer images, which has Fire Star, Fire Star on the left, looking very kind of passive to Scourge, who looks much more menacing on the side. But also, point your attention to Scourge's collar. The center point of his collar is like a, is a little skull of like a squirrel, I think? Maybe a rabbit. I'm going to say squirrel. Which is not in the books, but it's cool. Kind of like a center point. Like, he's an antithesis to Firestar when he started out with a collar. That just has a little dingly bell. Instead of his bell, he has a skull. I don't know. Overall, these original covers are really neat. Now we have the reprints, which obviously they're much better drawn, but I do think they lose some of the kind of more dynamic scenery. First off, you have Fire Paw looking very nice. He looks very happy, very enthusiastic. And then Blue Star on the right, looking very proud, somewhat stoic. The cat in the bottom right hand corner might be their version of Longtail, based on him crouching and kind of being ferocious. Or it could be Tiger Claw plotting and planning around this new kitty pet. As you can see, the logo and the claw marks are still the same. That really hasn't changed. Overall, it looks fine. Fire and Ice's cover confuses me. Because obviously that's Fireheart fighting somebody. But who it is is kind of unclear. It's possible this is Broken Star. But I, uh, if that's the choice... To have Fireheart fighting Broken Star on your cover art, it's a very weird one because it's kind of a footnote in the grand scheme of things. I mean, the art looks good, and the framing and the ferociousness and like kind of the anger. I mean, there are feral cats after all. That's all really well, but of all scenes, why that one? Same kind of goes for book three. I mean, of all scenes, why choose Tiger Claw confronting Blue Star in her den? I mean, again, art's fine, the framing's fine, it looks really good, but just a very odd scene to choose. I mean, it's an important scene, just for a cover art, a bit spoilery. I mean, if it is a reprint, I guess it would make sense to be more open about it, but I don't know. Next we have Rising Storm, which, hmm, hmm, I don't know about this one. I mean, obviously, they took the storm part more seriously, and as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's, like, the glow of the fire. And I like the framing. Like, you have Fireheart, who looks... He looks very tired and very beat up. The cat that he's carrying in his mouth, I don't know who that is. The color's kind of strange. But the cat behind him, it's very, like, solemn and sad. And it really gets across that this is a very horrifying moment. Like, he really seems defeated and in pain. And I really like it. Next, we have uh, this one, which has a very different interpretation of the dogs. Like, the design is completely different, and yet, the ferociousness still remains. Now, as I said before, I wish that Fireheart was more scared in one of the previous arts. Here he does. He's clearly leading them away. He's clearly running and doing the plan to get the dogs out of the way. And you can really see the fear, the utter fear 
on his face. Like his ears are back. His eyes are so wide. His expression is just horrified. I really like this. And then we have this final scene. So you have on the left, Firestar and Graystripe. And on the right, you have Scourge and then Bone, which I like. We don't really get Bone a lot in these cover arts. I think that the, this is the only one that has Bone. But I love the ferociousness. Like, they're really angry. They're really vindictive. They're looking at each other. Unfortunately, by the looks of it, their collars were reverted to their original one. There's no center skull, which is a little disappointing. But overall, I really like it. It's nice. All right, here's another long one. Here are the China covers. Oh, boy. So first off, let's look at the first Into the Wild one. First thing, I'm wondering why China has the English translations on the cover art. Because it was clearly done by them. I don't know. It's just, you feel like they wouldn't do that. But let's look at the art. The art, I think, is really nice. Fire, paw, he looks fine. Bit older. Bit too much white under his chin. Not solid red. But overall, it's fine. I will say... Is it just me, or does the book cover look like a communist propaganda poster? Just like the art style and the framing, it's and like the colors. I don't know, that's just kind of what hit me, and this will be apparent for the other books too. And then we have Fire and Ice, which, you know, I think it works. You have Fire, which is Fireheart, and you have Ice, which is basically everything else. Overall, it's nice, it's simple, effective. Uh, Force of Secrets. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> I really don't. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. I just, I'm just kind of confused. I mean, you have Fireheart, I think. The red, harsh red is weird. But you have this, like, this tear of gray? I don't, I don't know what's happening here. This one, I think this one's pretty good. You have what I assume is Fireheart and some other cat. I don't know who. You know, it has that weird tear again, but, you know, I like, I like the colors. I like the cats. Overall, I think it's fine. Um, ooh, this one's nice. nice. The ferociousness, the teeth. Look at those teeth. And his eyes are red. You know he's evil. If your eyes are red, he's evil. Um, I will say, shade of green. It's a very specific choice. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very weird. Um, this one, ooh, I like this one. It's interesting because the pattern looks more like a tiger with, like, the fluffy part, which looks a bit more like a mane. So I think maybe they were trying to get across, like, you know, Tiger Clan, Lion Clan. But of all cats, why do Tiger Clan? Because they're, like, the bad guys. Overall, it looks fine. I think the art style for all of these, well, very specific and very um reminiscent of some real life um parallels overall i think it's really nice i like it this now here's some of the alternates this one is very clearly based off of the kind of taiwanese covers with the um with the claw scratch and the formatting of the books and the paragraphs i think it's nice the scene i think is a bit interesting because you have with a square at the top which is similar to the american ones you have the center cat which is in this case fire paw and then on the bottom, you have this cat house, which I'm pretty sure this is Firestar's house because you have Firepaw on the right, and then I believe on the left, that's Smudge, which, if that's the case, it's a very weird framing because, yes, Fire that he lives near, his house is near the forest, but this looks more like out of a country house or like a farmhouse, which we know this ain't barley because that just wouldn't make a lot of sense. But I know, I think it's fine. I think it's fine art. Now, this one's interesting because, you know, again, you have the center image. Obviously, that's nice. And then the bottom one is obviously the snow. You know, it's the ice. I believe this might be a meeting between Graystripe and Silverstream. River Sword was an over. I believe that's the river. The shading is kind of weird. Overall, it's nice. I like the art. Ooh, but this one, Forest of Secrets. Center Cat, different one this time. I believe that is Yellow Fang. And then you have on the bottom of the two cats, one in what I think is Sunning Rocks, could be wrong, and then one on the right, which is in the grass. This could be the scene where Silverstream gives birth, which, that's a choice, if that's the case, but um, overall, 
I like it. Very pastel. Very nice. Now, ooh, this one. This cover art has Cloud Tail, which I definitely think is very... I mean, obviously at this point he's Cloud Paw, but the fact that he's like center image as like the center point, really nice. Then the bottom one, you have Fireheart and Sandstorm, which, you know, it's nice. It's lovely. Pretty good card. I like it. Um, Dangerous Path. Blue Star. Love it. The dogs, kind of out and about, looking very angry, very bloodthirsty. They want some kit to kill. Kill, kill, kill. I don't know. Overall, it was really nice. The Thunder Strike is a very interesting choice. Not a bad choice, just a choice. It's red, though, which is a bit strange, but yeah. But six. I like this. In the center, you have Tiger Claw, which, you know, considering all that's about to happen, bit of time. Do you think Scourge would be the center point? But eh, whatever. Then at the bottom, you have the three cats looking out on the horizon. It's sweet. It's nice. Overall, pretty cool. Next, we have. Uh, oh boy, what am I looking at? That just. What is. What's with his face? Again, this looks like to be a reframing of the first art that I showed you a bit earlier, which is on the fence, this time looking out to the forest, which overall is nice. But the top cat, the top cat, <laughs> what's wrong with his face? If that's supposed to be Firepaw or Rusty, that's just. It's too sandy color. It looks like more like Sandstorm, but we know that isn't Sandstorm. It's just. It's a choice. Next, we have the next card, which continues the trend of cat taking up 90% of the scene. It's a better cat, better frames, better, a little bit cuter. Gray stripe, nice. The bottom art, it's it's pretty generic. It could be really used for anything, but overall, I like it. The, the cat picture is even bigger this time. Like, look how large it is. Look how massive its skull is. Oh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Again, you have the cats on the bottom, silver stream and gray stripe. You know, it's fine. I'm, it's a bit too generic, like the framing of it. I don't know. The cat on the right, whoever that's supposed to be, it just seems out of sorts in a way. Book four. Again, cloud paw representation. We love it. We'd love to see it. I like they got his like kind of more bearded muzzle. Looks much more Persian this way, but I really like that. The bottom image is hmm he, i think he's catching a bird which that's next book buddy i don't know what to tell you but overall i like it i do really like that the bottom image looks to be like the aftermath of the fire which you know is definitely a different choice to take when it comes to depicting the fire and what happened but no one that i totally disagree with Next, we have what I'm assuming is Tiger Star at this point, front and center. His muzzle is a bit pushed in, but overall, I think it looks fine. The bottom image, though, is interesting because obviously you have Fire Heart surrounded by dogs, but they don't really look like dogs. They look more like wolves. And I know, like, wolf dogs exist, like, they look more wolfish, but these definitely look like full on wolves, which is definitely a choice. Not a bad choice. I think it definitely would motivate them to be more, like, aggressive towards cats, but... I don't know. That's fine. Uh, back to the funny cats. Look look at his face. He's like, whew! Again, I think this is supposed to be Firestar, but again, he's not red enough. I think they really misconstrued his color, which is strange, because the other cover arts of him had his cover... had him being red. <laughs> the bottom image, it, it, which is much more of a screen this time... I think this is their interpretation of four trees, which is a choice. I don't know. And then it's like him talking to all these different cats. No cat, no book cover has ever really shown four trees as four trees before. And this definitely isn't it. It's like one tree with many, many branches. I don't know. I think it's fine. Next, let's talk about the Slovenia covers. Not what I thought I'd be covering, yet here we are. So first is this one, which is back to translations. Yay! So let's talk about the cover art first. First off, again, very much like the ones we just saw where the cat is looking down, but they actually got Rusty's and Firepaw's, you know, pelt color correct. He looks very angry this time, but no, I think it's fine. Bottom art, bit generic. It's very Photoshoppy, like it's not original art, but 
overall, I think it, it gets the job done. But also, you see the cat eye in the O has returned, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, next, let's actually look at the translation. So this translation actually does translate it as warrior instead of warrior cats. And also, this one does say have wild in it instead of wilderness. But instead of into the wild, it's just to the wild, which, you know, that works. I think it's fine. Uh, next, we have this one, which confuses me. Because again, it's a deeper red, which there's no cat has a deep red. And the eyes are blue, which is a choice. I think it's fine. It's whatever. The bottom one, the butter art is, you know, very generic, very like, whatever. Again, very Photoshoppy. And the translation, it's just a perfect translation. Nothing really to write home about. And then you have book three. Apologize for the smaller cover art. This was the best one I could find. And again, nothing to write home about. The cat obviously is more gray with that strange stripe on his nose and middle of his face. That might be a scar. I don't know. Also, his eyes are purple, which is a choice. But overall, I think the framing is, you know, fine. And again, the translation, nothing to write home about. It's just a perfect translation. And that's it for Slovenia. Yeah, there's no other, um, no other cover arts. Next, let's tackle the Iran covers, which, again, I did not think I'd be covering. But here we are. First off, Into the Wild. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. First off, if that's supposed to be like Fireheart, oh my gosh, he looks ferocious. He looks humongous. He looks fluffy. I love it. Look at him. Look at that guy. He's so angry. But look at those cats beneath him. This might be him after he saves um the kits from Shadow Clan, which, you know, even if it isn't, it's just very cool art. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Same goes for this one, too. You have, on the right, you have Fireheart. On the left, you have Graystripe. Fireheart, regrettably, is less fluffy, but I think it's okay. But overall, look at the framing of this. Like, the direction, the the language, it looks amazing. And then you have, of course, a silhouette of a cat above the gorge. And if you look on the bottom left hand, you can see this is a ferocious gorge. This is a true gorge. This will kill you if you fall into it. And I love it. It's fabulous. How will they top this? Well, guess what? They don't. Um, for book three and onwards, they just use the generic uh, redesign art, which it's fine, but like you were doing so well. Those first two cover arts were amazing and you just dropped them? Why? I don't know, let's move on. Let's talk about the Vietnam covers. So first off, the colors look absolutely amazing. I like the foliage around the border. For, first off, the center image. You have Rusty, Firestar, he's looking down on his collar. Wrong color, but eh, it's fine. And it's very, very unique art style. It's the most unique that we've seen so far that's like not photorealistic or like realistic realistic. Overall, I think it's nice. Next, also, but look at the outline of the foliage and look at the inner sign. It's a cat. It's a cat on the inside. I love it. Also, the logo, again, has the eye color, and there's a scratch mark on the E. This would be way better if the center title was moved a bit, so that the I of the O would line up better with the cat's facial structure. For now, it just kind of looks a bit goofy. But again, let's look at the translations. Again, like I said, Warrior Cat, nothing too fabulous, and then Into the Wilderness, again, pretty generic. Next one, ooh, this is... Very interesting. So again, we have Fireheart on the left and then Grey Shape on the white. And they're clearly in much more physical conflict. I mean, they do get into a fight at one point, but this is a much more dramatic representation of it. But overall, really cool. Also, if you see the outline of the cat again, but this time it's more of like dead tree branches, as if like it's now colder, it's winter, which is accurate and I true and I love it. They continue this design philosophy. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, next, we have this next cover art, which, again, fabulous. You have Graystripe and Silverstream looking cute. Uh, but you see Silverstream looking very sad. Why is she sad, I wonder? I hope she survives the book. Hmm. Again, you have the fabulous kind of colors with the outline. I like the purple color of the leaves. It's very, very strange, but very nice. I like it. Um, also, the translation is interesting because it of 
Forest of Secrets. It's Deep Forest Secrets, which, yeah, is interesting. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, look at this. Book four. Oh, book four. So, as you can see, there's a fire happening. And it's a lot. You have Fireheart saving a kit. Again, I don't know what kit this is. This might be Sor Sorrel Kit, but I feel Sorrel Kit wasn't a tabby. I could be wrong. Mm. Again, the outline is like this sort of dead foliage, which definitely would help the fire. The framing, the tensity, I love it. Um, if you're wondering what the question marks are for, I could not translate the subtitle. I tried. I just could not get it to translate. It just would not work. And unfortunately, that's all of these covers for um, Vietnam. Overall, I really like these designs and this philosophy around it. They all were uniform, yet unique. And if the final two art for these covers, for these books, for books five and six, exist, please let me know. I would love to look at them and see them and see how they continued. But next, let's move on to Lebanon covers. Why does Lebanon have exclusive covers? I don't know, uh, but here they are. Um, hmm. Well, they certainly are interesting. So this is Into the Wild, I believe, and it's not terrible. Very interesting sketch for the cat. I mean, it's all black. The green eyes, so, so obviously I believe it's Fireheart or Firepaw at this point. And you know, it's not bad. It's fine. Just a bit strange. What's even stranger? is this one for Fire and Ice. Which, as opposed to just like an illustrated cat, this looks like a Photoshop one or like a picture of a cat. This could be illustrated, but if it is, it's strange. Hmm. And that's it for Lebanon. Yeah, but only only two, two covers. But now, let's move on to the Israel covers. So, the Fire and Ice one is interesting. So first off, they kind of inverted it. So Fireheart Firestar, I guess, is a fire red tom with green eyes. This cover made him green with fire red eyes, which is a choice. A very definitive choice. I do like the gold letters. The gold letters are really nice. I like the banner at the bottom. I like the framing of the bottom image, too, with the small cat, which I think might be probably Fireheart looking up and begging Lionheart and Bluestar to take him in. I think it's fine. Mm. I will say, it's interesting because they did actually translate Aaron Hunter's name into their language. Don't know what it reads as, but it's cool. Next we have Fire and Ice, which, um, oh boy. It's certainly fire, but where's the ice? It's, it's very blood red. Very interesting color choice. Overall, I think it's fine, just kind of bland. This one's also kind of bland. This is much more of a the ice color, I guess, but for the wrong book. Overall, I think these book covers, they serve a purpose. They work as is, but I just don't think they're enough. I think the cat's too faded into the background to really be in effect. It's like 40%, 30% of the entire page. I think 50 is like the minimum, min-max if you want to have the cat be on the cover. Overall, not terrible, but just kind of average. Now let's move on to the Norway covers. So first off, you might be thinking, this looks a bit familiar. I think it does it well. It, it's it's similar, but different. Like, it's different art. But like, it's very clearly the same. Like, it's the green cat with the fire red eyes. But um, back to translations! Woo! So the Norway covers, um, apparently tr translate instead of warrior cats, it's cat warriors, which, yes, they are. That's fine. The text below it was translated to new suspense series, which, yeah, it is. It's a it's a suspense series. There is a lot of murder. Does murder mean suspense? Murder means suspense. We'll go with that. And then we also have Back to the Wilderness instead of, which, you know, is interesting. I like it. It's fine. Um, ooh. This one, I like, again, very clearly. It's reusing the bottom art from the early covers. I really, I really talk on that. Top one, again, it's very clearly inspired, but overall, it does not, it's fine. But what's interesting, instead of fire and ice, it's flames and ice. And I did check this, but fire and flames has different words in the Norwegian language. So this was deliberate. Instead of fire and ice, it's flames and ice, which, you know, it's a choice. I don't know why they did it, but they did. 
And then this one, again, again, it's just reusing concepts, nothing super right home about. Oh, and then, of course, it translates instead of Secrets of the Forest, instead of Forest of Secrets. It's fine, just a reformatting of the words. Next, let's talk about the Lithuania covers. So book one, nothing to write home about. It's just the North American one with a few moderations. The translations are interesting, because again, you have clan warriors, which is different from cat warriors, which, okay, that's fine. And then you have to the wilderness. Nothing crazy, just pretty generic. But then you have the later covers, which have this new trend of this format, where it's just single color with a very realistic cat in the middle. What's interesting about this is you can very clearly tell they photoshopped it to hell to make the cat much more fire red pelt and then gray green eyes. But you know, <laughs> it's a bit interesting, but you know, I think it's fine. It's definitely a very simplistic look, but you know, they could have done worse. They could have done better too. Next we have um, Forest of Secrets, which just translates to Forest of Secrets. Again, very generic, nothing to write home about. At least with this cat, though, I don't think they photoshopped it unless they photoshopped the eyes, which they're deep enough blue that they could be authentic. I don't know, though. Instead of the rising storm, it's the storm rises. It sure does. In fact, the quality, I would say, also rises. It doesn't. It still looks very generic. But, um, yeah, that's, um, that's the Lithuania covers. <laughs> Um, a normal cover, three weird covers, and then I don't know if they get the other two covers. They might have just been redesigns, I don't know. Uh, now let's talk about a few of the countries that only had, like, one interesting cover to talk about, but I still think they were interesting to talk about. First, the Czech Republic covers. Um, it's fine. I think it's interesting. Thing. They just removed the center image, and eh, there's nothing right home about. The translation are interesting, because the top one, which I think is, like, the subtitle, it's the law of cats is everything. Which, you know, is very dramatic. It's not like the subtitle, it's just the tagline. And then it's just wild cats. They don't even say into the wild. It's just wild cats. I think it's fine. Um, now let's talk about the Belgium covers. So this one is apparently the Belgium illustrated covers. Much like the Russian covers, um, or books specifically, they have like internal illustrations. But oh boy, look at this art. This is almost like a movie art, like a movie post art, maybe even the graphic novel art. But going left to right, you have, obviously, Blackfoot. But you have Ravenpaw, you have Graypaw, you have Tigerclaw, you have Broken Star above, very menacing, reaching his arms out. Very muscular arms. Ooh. You have a very old and gaunt-looking Blue Star. Well, I believe is Lionheart with his mane. Below him is Spottleaf, and then above him... Him above Lionheart and below Blue Star. I don't know who that is. I someone I have to figure out who that is. Someone from Belgium maybe, but I can't tell who that is. Who's holding like the mouse? But also you have Firepaw, Rusty, very dramatic form. Overall, it's nice. I like it. It's cool. Uh, let's talk about the Romania cover. Uh, here it is. Here's the Romanian cover. It's pretty boring, but I just thought it looked really cool. It's fine. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Polish covers. Let's get into it. So first, let's talk about this one. This is, of course, the Poland illustrated covers, which, you know, have illustrations within it. Again, we're not covering the illustrations. Maybe we will someday, but not today. So first off, let's look at it. Firepaw, or I guess in this case, Rusty. He's very cute. He baby. He's adorable. I love it. I also like how this is a very interesting forest because it's not strictly a green forest there's like different colors shades of greens and browns and you know overall i like it again the title is just translated to warriors i like the two o's both have the eyes and with a j it almost looks like a kind of nose almost like it's kind of a cat face in it i think it's interesting also this is an interesting translation for the title instead of into the wild or a you know Return to the Wild, it's Escape into the Wilderness. Very dramatic, very cool. I like it. Uh, next we have Fire and Ice's cover, which is very sweet. Obviously you have Grey Stripe looking very, very lovely into Silver Stream. And then on the coast, on the other side of the river, very small, you can notice Fire Heart Heart looking from afar. You don't even get to see his expression. You just know that he's secretly looking in on their relationship, which 
I think it's a very nice touch. Again, translation, nothing to write home about. I will say, though, the mountains behind them are much closer than I think they should be, given the topographical area of the Wildcats map. But it's not terrible. I think it's fine. Next, we look at this one, which is the um, Forest of Secrets, which again just translates to Forest of Secrets. You have Fireheart, which is looking very tense, on Tigerclaw, who looks very emotionless. It might just because we're looking away from him, like we're looking at his back, but I think it's a very interesting scene. Also, I want to look, show you this one. This apparently is the unreleased cover for Forest of Secrets, the illustrated one, which, oh boy. Now, I don't know why it's unreleased. It's possibly because there's blood, which there sure is. This is definitely a very interesting, different design for Fireheart, but also Blue Star looks very scared, like she was just attacked by by Tarclaw and Fireheart is defending her, which is a nice framing, but I understand why they didn't deal with this final design. I prefer the official one. Next, let's focus on the audiobook covers, because yes, we're going there. So first off, they're all very generic, just on a basis. You have, you know, the cat there, he looks up, he's very, he's very cute, he's like, oh, I'm a little cat, ooh, I don't know, I think it's fine. fine. Then we have the next one, which I don't know who this is. As far as I know, there's no, like, strictly white cats. I think this is Photoshop, just given how ashen white it looks. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine, but a bit just strange. This one, hmm. The eyes are very much Photoshopped to be this deep green. I don't know who this is. I like the background, but it's just kind of average. I feel like they could have done a bit more with this one. This one... Hmm... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know if I like it. The cat looks too young. If this is Tiger Claw, which I think it is, he just looks too young. Too much of, like, a baby. Also, they took the storm part too literally. Like, there isn't fire. The purple's a bit distracting. Although, I do like the translation, the calm before the storm. Because, in a way... It is. It's the one book where Tiger Claw isn't a direct threat. Obviously, he's doing stuff, but he's not, like, a massive deal yet. Unlike in the next book, which he obviously is. Which, as you can see here, you know, be very angry-looking cat. I don't know if this is Tiger Claw or Tiger Star now. If it is, it's strange to do it two in a row, especially since he looks much older and much more dangerous and angry. But again, you know, I think it looks fine. Translation, A Dangerous Path, is very generic. It's just a one-to-one -one translation. Now this one, ooh, this is interesting. Again, translation, nothing to write home about. But the angry cat, ooh, very angry. This could be Scourge. I don't think it is, but he's still cool looking. And also, around him, you see all these eyes in the forest. They just copy and paste the eyes around, so it's not, like, super exciting. But it's still rather interesting that they did this. Now let's go on to the reprints, like the true reprints of the normal books. No illustrations. First off, we have, obviously, Rusty slash um, Firepaw. You know, looks a bit older, but I think it looks fine. The collar, I like it. The side part is, you know, I think it's fine. Also, if you notice, on the collar is actually in, I believe, Polish. And I translated this, and I believe it does say Rusty or Rust, which, you know, is a nice touch. Not unnecessary, but nice. Also, the bottom scene, we have him looking up at Blue Star. Not as many cats around as I think there would be, but overall, I like it. Next, you have this one, which I believe is probably Yellowfang or Broken Star. But overall, I do like it. I like the color in the background, too. It's not quite blood red, more of like a sunset red, which I think is nice. Also, the fact it kind of reflects on the river is a nice touch. And again, in the bottom, you have Gray Stripe on the right and then Silver Stream on the left. Fluffy boys all around being cute. The Secrets cover is all right. I could not tell you who the cat is on the top. I'm, I'm blanking. But on the bottom, I really like the kind of lineup they had. Because you see in the center is obviously Tiger Claw. And then on his right, you see um, Blackfoot. And then the rest of the cats are just kind of generic. The possible cat on the left could be Darkstripe. I probably am wrong, but it pos it's possible. 
But I like that he's he's like leading them to Thunderclan Cap for the attack. Like it's a tease of sort. I, overall, I really like it. Ooh, this one. I really like this one. So so on the top, obviously you have Tiger Claw looking very sinister, very malicious. Like it's almost as if he's smiling. Like he's happy about all this destruction and devastation. The bottom, I like the fire design and how it's like illuminating the bottom of him, kind of cascading across him. And then in the center, you have the cat, who, based on the tail, could be Yellow Fang hinting at her demise. Overall, I really like this cover art. It's my favorite one so far. Now we have a dangerous path, which, again, the dogs, different breeds, actually, as far as I can tell, unless they just color them wrong. The left one looks like a different breed or different coloration than the right one. But overall, I think it's really nice. Now the cat. This cat is Brightheart. And I love it. I love that Brightheart is getting a cover, even though we know what happens to Brightheart. But also, I think it's interesting because across her face is like specks of red, which I think is blood. And also her ferocious face is just so determined. Like she wants to go fight the dogs. I love it. I think it's amazing. And the colors, it's, you know, it's, it's nice. It's overall really nice. And finally, we have this one, The Darkest Hour. Scourge looks menacing. His eyes are icy blue and horrifying. He doesn't even have to, like, growl or, like, you know, make an expression. He's just, his presence alone will scare you. And finally, he has his purple collar. And the teeth are actually, like, stuck into it. And you can actually see on the edge of the teeth, like, dried bits of blood sticking into it. It's a really nice design. Also, below him is... What I believe is the artist's interpretation of the bone pile, which, you know, it's fine. I think you're supposed to interpret that a lot of cats are going to die in this book. Overall, I think it works. And that is every International Warrior Cats cover for The Prophecies Begins. As you can probably tell, this is a long video, which is why I was not going to do the other arcs yet. Will I do the other arcs in the future? Probably, but it'll be a while, because this was over 150 slides and over an hour's worth of audio. So, I need a break. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I hope if you stayed this long, you enjoyed the video, and if you made it this far, comment banana. Yeah, comment banana if you made it to the end of the video. And with all that said and done, I hope you all have a very nice day, wherever you are, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. I regret this. <laughs>